Good morning and happy closet organization day. Yes, that's what we're going to call this. It is Sunday, March 20th, and we are doing some organization and cleaning out today. If you follow me on Instagram, I did mention this the other day. I'm trying to move so that the um, glare is not on my glasses. So if there's a glare on my glasses, I apologize. It's that time of year, allergies and all that. I might end up switching out. We will see. This might be a video that lasts several days, or it might be one that we do in two parts. I won't know until we get dead into this. So this closet behind me has got to be cleaned out. If you follow me on Instagram, I did mention that the other day. Um, here's the thing. My shop is continuously growing to the point where I need this closet to store things. Like boxes, all of these. I have boxes under here. I think two sets of boxes under here that I need to start putting together and stacking up because I've almost used all my boxes on that table. And look at that. It's a dis disaster. I will tell you this. I had to search for 20 minutes to find the memory card for this camera. So if you've wondered why I have not shared videos, number one, I had a memory card I lost. I had two or three videos on that memory card and I kept thinking I was going to find it. And I have it, so maybe, and I know I put it on my desk. I don't know if it fell off. I don't know if maybe if I clean it off, I'll find it. If I do end up cleaning it off and I find it, I'm going to edit those videos and share those, even though they're a little bit late. So, I'm rambling, as you can see. So, this closet, I want to use it for shop stuff. Like, everything else, I want to pull out of the closet, put it in the attic, get rid of it, store it somewhere else. Because Izzy's getting in this closet and she's tearing things up. You can't close the door. I've tripped almost completely like fell over on some things because it's that bad. This side of the office over here looks pretty good. That's where I am most of the time. But as you see, I've pulled stuff out. These things over here, y'all, I've got bags everywhere. I've got to share my Stony Clover Lane haul with you guys. This is something that I'm going to talk about in just a minute. This box needs to be gone through. That stuff to sell. All, look, all that. All that, all this. So now you see why I said it may take several days to go through because I have a ton of stuff just in the office that needs to be addressed. So all of this stuff under here needs to be stored in the closet because I don't even know exactly what is even down here to be honest. Like I don't even know what's in these boxes right now. And I'm sitting here trying to think of what's in those. Oh, those are messed up notepads that's what those are so the first order of notepads that they sent me for both designs were crooked so sometimes they want those sent back that company didn't want them sent back so i'm like eh, i don't know what to do with those so they're just sitting there right now the door here can't even close because we have this filing cabinet and what's supposed to be the gift wrapping tote holding it up you guys i'm telling you it's, it's just this is disaster all this so y'all, this is real life. This is this is just horrible. So, and then all of this. Basically, what's up here is Christmas stuff, and then stuff like empty boxes. So all of this is gonna be pulled out, and I'm in the mood to get rid of stuff. <laughs> so there's no telling what's going today. So the first order of business is just to get everything out of the closet and to start with a clean slate. So my overall vision for this closet before we even get started, because I needed to have some kind of idea in my head before I even started, because that's where I mess up is when I just pull things out and then shove them back in there and have no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. So I'm going to pull everything out. We're going to vacuum, clean the floors and all of that, because as you see, it's a, it, Izzy's gotten in here and tore up so much stuff. So, my goal is to have those black shelves. I've got two more of them ordered. And then I have one behind me that is smaller. So, I want them to line this left side. So, like an L shape. So, I want it to go all the way back and over. So, that one's going to stay there. I'm probably going to pull it out to vacuum. So, I want it to be on this left side. So, the right side of this closet, there's going to be nothing but a walk space. So everything that I'm going to need is going to be over here on this right side. That's my goal. 
Or by the time we finish, we may do it over here on this right side and the walk space will be on the left. I'm not sure right now, but it would probably make more sense to do everything on this right area so that I could see it when I walk in and not have to like come around and see it, if you know what I mean. So some of these things like the games, Kate is getting a new dresser. So my goal is to move her dresser to the hallway and to keep all the family games and some of that stuff back there in there. So that's going to put, be put to the side. I'm not going to put it back in the closet because I know where it's going. Some of this stuff is going to be sold. Some of this stuff is going to be donated and so forth. So we're going to get in here and we're going to tackle this beast today. So the first step is to pull everything out. I'm gonna kill myself by the end of the day okay so that is all taken care of if you hear the dog barking it's because she pooped on the pee pad and we're trying to get her to go outside so she's in the kennel so I apologize for that okay y'all look at this floor this looks horrendous you can probably hear my husband vacuuming so today is just clean everything day so I left that back there because I'm just going to pull it out, vacuum, and then move it. So that's probably going to get moved to this other side. Now the top, I'm going to do the top last. So probably what's going to happen with a lot of this is some of it is, some of it's like Halloween and Christmas and all of that and all of this over here. So I'm not sure at the moment what is going to happen with all that. So I know it's not going down here. So we're just gonna leave it up here for the moment and then we'll address all of that second. So we need to do one thing at a time. So that is why this is getting addressed first. So this feels amazing. I just need to sit here and take this all in if I don't kill myself tripping over something. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, and I don't know if I have baking soda, I'm going to put some baking soda on this floor before I vacuum it to get any smells up, if there are any smells. Um, move that, get that all situated, and then bring in the other piece. Just so y'all know what you are hearing, there she is. She's not happy. She's in her kennel because she's not doing good. You got to poop and pee-pee outside. So she's got about five more minutes, I think, in there. Okay, so this is what we're getting moved in there. This bright room right here, it's upside down. This would fit my car because it's it's a little bit more narrow. The other two would not, so I had to order those and get those shipped. Those should be here Wednesday. Okay, so this is what this room looks like. It's embarrassing. It's disgusting. I've, this is everything that was in the closet pulled out. Y'all, I've reorganized this closet three or four times on this channel, and I cannot believe that I've allowed it to get this bad again. I, I'm, just, I'm embarrassed. I really am so we're gonna take it one step at a time I'm not doing anything out here yet some of the stuff is going a lot of it's not going back in this closet so here's what we're doing first the closets gonna be first what we're gonna do I'm gonna see if I have baking soda if I do we're gonna get that sprinkled vacuum get this moved over to the other side and bring in that other unit that I purchased and go from there so one thing at a time so we're going to move into the closet and we'll address everything out here as we go This is not for the faint at heart. 
I'm already frustrated and I'm an hour into this, to be honest. So here's what happened. I did not measure when I got this. No, I did not. I just assumed they were all the same height. The same ones that I had before. I thought they were going to be that tall over there on the left. I didn't realize there were taller ones. So, and I have two more of these. These are the Bright Room from Target. They're 72 inches tall. So, what we're going to do is, my husband doesn't want to do this, but this is what we're doing. We're going to take the shelf off on this right side, which is probably not a bad idea anyways, which means I can't cram crap up there that's not needed. So, we're going to keep all the supplies in case we want to put it back up there. So, all of that's going to come down. Now, this section's off on this side over here, so I'm going to leave the, what's on the right up there. So, if you see that, that's an advent calendar up there. That's where it's sectioned off and is moved to the left. So, from that advent calendar to the right, I'm going to take all of that shelving down because this is going to allow me to stack stuff up on this right side. So, we will see. But, yeah, I screwed up on that. So, hopefully we're going to be able to fix it. Okay, all finished. And we're going to have to take a look at this spot up here, you guys. See that spot? We've been keeping an eye on it. It's been there since we've been here. But my husband pushed on it and it was hollow. So we're going to have to call somebody to look at that. That's been here since before we even moved into this house and didn't know it. So we're thinking we got some water damage from before like seven, eight years ago. When we didn't even live here. So I wanted to get that checked out. Okay, so everything is down. These two, I'll get those pulled down later those two little screws so now we're gonna get that moved over here to this right hand side so that is done oh my goodness so we're gonna have two others over here I'm gonna have to measure they may not fit I may have to cancel that order and order the smaller ones because I don't know I want to measure okay so let's just call this the project that Kristen screwed up <laughs> Because now, so I've already had to take the shelving unit down, the white one, and now I've realized the two units that I purchased are way too big. So instead of having, the larger ones are 47 inches wide, and basically that would cover most of this area besides a little bitty part. This one down here is um, three feet, so it's 36 inches. I needed two more of those instead of two of the larger ones. So two more of those would fit right to like here. So that's what I need and that's the door frame. So that's what I need. So I just went ahead and ordered those from Target. I tried to cancel the order. So evidently they process orders pretty fast because I ordered that at eight o'clock last night and it already told me today at one o'clock, 1.30, that I could not cancel it because it had already been processed. So we're just gonna take them back to Target no big deal. They'll take it off my card. So, this works here. And we'll have the other two lined up here. I mean, it looks kind of junky right now because I don't have anything in here. But, that's what it is going to look like. And y'all, that leaves me so much space over here to walk. So, that is awesome. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to get these shelves put together. Um, and then, we'll kind of... I guess, lay stuff together that's going to go on these two over here. So, basically, this is going to be done in two parts. Two-part video, I would say. Hopefully, in the part two, I don't screw up like I have today. <laughs> so, now what I'm going to do is we're going to get these two put together, like I just said. So, I'm kind of all over the place. So, um, I'm not sure exactly what's going to go in here. So, we're going to do this one step at a time. And I'm just going to kind of walk you through it as I put things together. So, as you can see by my hair, everything is gone like this today. Just out of whack. So, it has taken a lot longer to get this entire project started than I have anticipated or had anticipated, like I said earlier. So, if you hear the noise, that's our washing machine. It is loud. If you've been here for a while, you know my dishwasher used to sound like that. Now my washing machine does. So I want to give you a little update on how everything is looking. It feels so much better even though there's a mess in here. So I'm going to share so I'm going to share with you the area in here and then what the closet is looking like so far. 
Okay, so this is the office area, and you guys, the other side, like I've showed, is pretty, it's pretty clean. So here's the deal. All of the games over here are going to go in that little dresser unit that we're putting in the hallway. So it's probably going to sit here for right now. I'll put it in a nice little pile somewhere. Um, all of this, the books, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with the books. We need to look at all that. Pictures are going to go in that drawer unit as well. Those are going to go in the kid's closet. Some of this, that's a box of selling stuff. A box of selling stuff that my sister gave me that I need to sell. Some boxes. Just random. I'm going to go through all of the Funko boxes. Some of the boxes, if it's not some kind of very unique type of Funko, I'm getting rid of the box. For instance, I have like the up boxes. I will keep all those and put those in the attic. But some of them, like I have a Maleficent. Y'all, I'm not ever going to sell this. So this box is going to get trashed. Several boxes are going to get trashed. I just can't keep them all. And I have an attic full already. So, one step at a time. So right now, my goal is the closet. Look how much better it looks. I mean, I, I don't even have words with how good it looks so far. So those other two units will be here Wednesday and then we'll do that part of the video. So we're gonna get everything to a stopping point today. So I went ahead and put these tubs over here. Let me move this. This is what I was using to film the closet. So if you have a big project like this, don't get discouraged if it doesn't all get done in one day. I probably won't even get to up there today. I just have to be realistic. I just can't do it. So I'm going to get as much done as I can today. So it looks so good. So I'm hoping with the wrapping paper that I have enough space right down here once those units get here to put the wrapping paper right here on the edge. If not, I'll have to see what I need to do with it because it does not need to be in the way. Now I put these tubs here because I'm going to end up using those on those two units over here. So what I'm going to do is as I come through here and I know there's something that's going to go in there, I'm going to put it to the side. Just so it's ready to go when those units get here. So back here, this is the one I've had for a while. I want to say I got this at Lowe's. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. And it's probably like a 56 inch is what I'm thinking. This one is a 72. So I will link the two, this unit here. It's the 36 inch wide. The 47 is 80 and the 30 and the 36 is 70. So I'm going to get two more of the 36 to go here. It's 72 inches tall. So what I've done over here, first thing is that's my tax information for my shop from last year. So I'm just keeping it up there so I know where it is. So this is my gift wrapping station. So this has nothing to do with the shop, but y'all, this stuff was everywhere in the closet. I'm talking everywhere. I didn't know where to get it. That drawer unit that I had in here before, when I put it in here, I thought it was a great idea and it was going to look really good and it was going to keep all the stuff organized and then it just didn't. So my husband's going to take that to his office to use to sort uniforms. So it makes me happy to know that it's going to get used, just not in here. So this is all the type of stuff that we use. And if you notice, there's no boxes. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but when you buy boxes, you used to be able to buy boxes from, you know, Walmart or Target and they would last for years. Not the case anymore. I used to have so many boxes. So I've got a spot up here for like the gift, the shirt type of boxes. I have a spot up there. I'm going to leave that blank in case I do get some boxes that I'll keep there. So down here, these are all empty boxes. These are Stony Clover Lane boxes, except for one. They make great gift boxes. And what I need to do is if I get any any smaller ones, I need to put them inside of the two larger ones. So I'm keeping those because they're excellent boxes. Up here, this is a huge thing that I needed to do. I have all of the gift wrap. I mean, the tissue paper. So the next thing this was huge for me to do is I actually dedicated a spot to tissue paper. So this isn't the tissue paper that goes with my shipping stuff for my shop. This is all personal on this shelf here. So this is all for gifts. Y'all, I will go at the after Christmas and I will stock up on the white tissue paper that's on clearance. So that's everything. I've taken everything out of the packages and stacked it up. 
These are greeting cards here. I'm not a big greeting card person. I used to be. They've gotten so stinking expensive. I'm not paying $5 for a card. I'm just not going to do it. So anytime that I can find like the box of cards, that's what I do. These are from the container store and they're greeting card holders. And I just have an assortment of these are birthday cards. And then back there you got like thank you cards, get well cards. And that's where we come if we have birthdays. I don't go to Walmart and buy cards. I just do not do it unless I can get one for 99 cents. I think cards cost way too much. It's, it's, I just don't. Okay, up here on this shelf here, I have a whole tub of gift bags. Is anybody else like this? I am the gift bag person <laughs> for the family. Anytime we have birthdays, Christmas, anything, and there's gift bags that are good quality, I will keep them. So all of these are gift bags. And then after Christmas, I did go and pick up some from Hobby Lobby when they were like 50% off. So I have all sorts of gift bags in here. I did go through all these and got rid of probably probably 15 or 20 that were just ripped and were not good quality due to the, to due to it being in that drawer unit. Over here, I'm not going to get close up because I don't want you to see my address. Over here, this is um, mailers. Mailers that have been shipped to me but are in good quality. So I keep all of these if I've sold something or if I need to mail something to somebody. I like to reuse mailers. So that's not shop stuff. That is for personal stuff as well. Up here I'm leaving this spot for boxes and then over here this is huge too. I had this stuff crammed in a little organizer that wasn't working. These are gift tags. Christmas gift tags, and then I have all of my twine and ribbon. Y'all have no idea how great that feels. So that area looks so much better. Now we just have to keep it that way. And then over here is what has started the shop stuff. So up there, that is what I take all of my um, packages to the post office in. Those are the 31 gifts utility totes. I have the large and then the medium size. So all those are up there. Those make excellent um, mail carriers. This shelf right here, and y'all, this could change. I just tried to get some of this stuff in here. All of this is extra washi tape. This is extra sticky notes. So I'm going to be going through all of this and posting it and all that. We've got extra mailers in here, the smaller mailers. You've got extra ma uh, bubble mailers in here. These are the extra sticker books. Extra rigid mailers. I have an extra one over here just in case I need a spot. Y'all know I'm going to need a spot for extra things. So I have an extra tub here. That's my MacBook box. And I kept this. This is an old radio and it has a CD player spot inside of it. And I just feel like I need to keep that because you never know. So y'all right there and look Ace. I hope he enjoys it in here because I have ordered a gigantic gate to go between the kitchen and the office so the animals cannot get in here. So he will not be spending many days in here so he might as well enjoy it. So I'll share all that as well. So this feels amazing already. I know it just started and I've got a mess in this office but you guys have no you have no idea how great this feels. So I'm going to get back to it and then I'll probably catch up with you one more time and then we will end day one of the closet organization. So I think it's almost like 4.45 and I'm slowly winding it down for day one because I'm getting really tired and it's still a mess in here but I need to just not overdo it on day one because I'll come back in here on Wednesday once those units get in here and finish everything up. So I'm doing the little small tasks right now so I thought I would talk to you about that. So I've slowly started tackling little areas. I've taken some things to the attic. I've got some things in my car that I'm going to donate. Lots of trash has been um, gone through. All of that back there is staying until um, Kate's dresser gets moved to the hallway. Um, just little odds and ends. So I'm taking it one little thing at a time. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going through all of this. So this basket was in the living room and so I had Scentsy stuff in the living room and in here. So I went in the attic and got a few more of these things here. So I'm basically moving stuff around over here as well. Look, there's Ace. 
So all of this was in this top drawer. And I need another spot to put my Scentsy waxes. Because y'all, I always have my two Scentsies going in the office. So you can see them right now. There's my Up One and my Winnie the Pooh Honey Pot. So I might switch those scents out in just a minute once they start burning. And I can do that. So I need a second drawer. So I got all of this cleaned out. So I am going to kind of reorganize it, put it up here, clean these little organizers out and make this work because one drawer just is not cutting it. And you might wonder why do I have all of these? You guys, I have a Scentsy in the kitchen, two in here, one in the hallway and one in the bedroom. So that's why when I order them, I get a lot. And there's certain scents that are my favorite this is apples and cinnamon sticks. This one's a favorite. Well, no, it's not. Apple frosting. Apple butter frosting. I think that's one I tried. Sugar cookie is one of my favorites. Um, blueberry cheesecake is a favorite. Vanilla bean buttercream. I love that one. Oh, this one's a new one. I think I'm going to try this one since they're getting into summer bonfire beach. And then if I like this, I'll order some more of this. And I cut myself, you guys. I'm telling you. I cut my cuticle and then i have a bruise on my palm see that big bruise <laughs> i have no idea how i got that but there i am so we're gonna do all that so what else do i have in here oh sea salt and avocado is a new one these are new those came with my up ones so and i've got all of these down here so i want to get those all organized up here and so everything's not crammed into one Okay, that is now done. I've got these two out that I am going to put in those scentsies in a minute. So, that is drawer number one. So, I've got all these and I've got the bulbs here in case one of those goes out. Then, the second one here. So, this one was randomly sitting in there and I just wanted to put it in there. So, everything looks good. That's good. And the things that were in here, I moved right here. So I got all those put together and everything looks good. So you guys, I think I'm going to end day one for the closet organization right here. So I'm going to end day one right here. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below and I will answer those in part two. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.